babes and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my box of charm unboxing. Now I don't have my box because it was donated to my aunt, but I have all my products here in front of me. We have a skincare product, we have a primer, we have a color switch for the brushes to use in between different colors. We have a beautiful palette from Pure Cosmetics and a Sayate setting spray. So if you want to see all these babies in action, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the theme for this bo month's boxy charm is sunshine, as brought to you by this beautiful little card. Um, so I have, I received the base box every month as well as the premium box. My premium box is delayed. I was really hoping to do like a big giant unboxing or like a comparison between the two. But we're just gonna be basic and that's completely fine. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and work on the skin. So the first product in the box is the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster with watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Um, this is supposed to brighten the complexion for glowing skin, protects against UV damage, and helps reduce eventual signs of aging. This retails for $49.95, and this is a full-size product. I love the packaging. It's very sleek. So we're gonna pop some of this on our face. It says to do three um, drops directly on the skin, but I don't like that. I'm just gonna push it in. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like a fruity dream, I love it. This is definitely one of those vitamin C's that has like a um, tacky consistency. Not exactly my favorite thing. Um, Ola Hendrickson's Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum is not like sticky. This one is. Not exactly my favorite, but we're gonna make it work. Do I already look brighter? Do I look like I'm aging less? Obviously, I'm not gonna know like if this works off one try, but off first impressions, I love the smell. I am not fond of the tackiness of it, and I feel like it's like a, like a comparable price to other vitamin C products out there it's $49.95, $50. Comparison to like Ole Hendrickson, it's cheaper than Drunk Elephant. Um, but I would still prefer my Banana Bright Vitamin C based off first impressions only. So now we're going to test out the Cream Shop, um, what is this? <laughs> the Cream Shop Clean Canvas Color Correcting Cushion Primer. Um, this is the lavender one, which is meant to brighten sunken skin. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you could tell. The brightness on my camera is really high up because I'm filming at night and I didn't want to look too, to look dreary. It's basically like a purple color corrector. Lavender, which is supposed to help brighten any sunken dark areas. And it's cushion, so it comes with its own little cushion applicator and I'm going to use it. Um, this retails for $20, $20 hairs, and it's supposed to be a solid base for better makeup that will last 12 plus hours and requires less makeup. I can't judge that right now, but we're going to go ahead and try this. My under eyes are very dark and like my nose and the surrounding area has a lot of darkness a lot of hyperpigmentation so i'm gonna start by applying it there i'm just going to apply it to the areas that i like highlight i think i might have loaded up the sponge too much it definitely picks up a lot of product be aware of that it picks up a lot of product. I'm taking a little bit and putting it over my like 
acne marks over here, my like dark spots. Maybe it'll help hide it. My face is really purple. <laughs> really violet now okay so I'm gonna do I was gonna do my face off camera um, but I'm just going to do my concealer so normally when I'm color correcting I will go in with the concealer that's my actual skin tone to see if it's gonna peek through or if it's actually going to conceal everything without like being too bright so I'm taking my born this way concealer in the shade almond which is close to my skin tone I can't find the one that actually is and I'm going to pop some on my under eye, on my nosy. Gonna pop it where those acne scars are. All right, so my concealer is on and I'm gonna take this Billion Dollar Brushes um, Sculpting Duo Brush, which I love for contouring, for my highlight. I'm just gonna blend with that concealer in. Wow. That worked as a really nice base. Wow, and it looks so, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit better. I'm gonna stay here. But it's so flawless and bright. And I was worried it was gonna look a little gray, but it doesn't. It just looks really bright. And I just love the way that the concealer sits on it. I can't wait to put the rest of my foundation on my face. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna apply, finish off my face makeup, and I will be right back. All right, I fixed the brightness on my camera a little bit because I was a little too washed out. So I'm sorry for the sudden change. Um, we are going to. So I apply the rest of my face, and I love the way that all the makeup applied on top of this primer. I don't look gray, which was like a really big worry. Um, that's like something that can happen when you use that like purple lavender primer. But there's no gray here. My eyes don't look as sunken. They definitely look a little lifted because there's not that much darkness under there. So that's really nice. I haven't set my face with powder because we're gonna go into the eyes and so I didn't want to do that. Um, but the two products that we're going to be using right now is a Pure Festival 2.0 palette. This is $36 and it includes 12 pressed pigments that instantly coat the lids with dreamy, irresistible colors. And then we're going to be using the Quick Color Switch from Lavish. This is $20 and it's basically for you to be able to take your brush and you just wipe it around here and it dry cleans your brush so that you can use it for a different color. So we're going to try and stick to just this one brush so we can test it out. Um, so looking into the palette right away, I'm going to go into Dreamland, Dreamland right here. It's going to be the first shade that I'm going to use as my like transition shade I've never done my shadow after my lashes are popped on so this is always interesting but I just wanted to look awake for the beginning of this video because I was looking a little a little actually already it blended out so easily the pigmentation is so nice I don't feel like I have to dip in again. It's perfect for what I wanted as my like transition shade. I love how this pink looks. So I'm gonna deepen it up just a little bit with Instaworthy, which is like a really pretty burnt orange. Oh wait, wait, I'm just wiping it on here. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is no more shadow on that. It is all gone, so let's see shadow on the brush so you can see the pink right there I'm gonna clean my brush 
brush and wipe right here. There's no more shadow. That's so awesome. It's gonna come so in handy because I am a big one brush person. Um, this has a lot of fallout. So I'm trying to see if you can see it. I don't know if you can like see the fallout, but there's a lot of fallout on it. But it's because they're pressed pigments, so you definitely just need to lightly tap and it has so much pigmentation. Just trying to deepen this up a little bit. This is looking like a look I just did for my TikTok. But you know what? It's okay because it was a pretty look. So it's fine. I'm not complaining. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it at those two basic colors. I want to try out the, um, the like, pressed glitter pigments. So I'm going to use Euphoric, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to use my finger. It doesn't have that much of a pickup. But it's so shiny. Wow, that looked really pretty in the light. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Can you see that? That looks so pretty. Love, 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 love. Okay, I was interrupted. Currently dog sitting for my cousin. Had to go potty. <laughs> um, but this shimmer is so pretty so pretty i'm gonna add a little bit of a extra kind of pink pop to like go with my like beautiful tie-dye shirt <laughs> so we're gonna go in with turn it up because we want to turn this look up with <laughs> this hot pink right here and we're going to put this on the lower lash line so i can stain them pink my camera's about to die because the universe likes giving me a hard time when I'm trying to be productive. Yes. I love it. These are super easy to blend. They're so pigmented. You literally need the lightest amount of this to get really pretty coverage on the eye. And I love the glitter pigments and they did not get everywhere. There was fallout when you tapped on the palette, but there's not fallout underneath the eyes, which I think is like the most important place where you don't want fallout. So, you know. All right, I'm gonna go set my face, and then we are going to test out this gooey mist, and that'll be the end of this video. It was super quick, probably one of my shortest videos. Gonna give you the grand total of the box and all of that. I'll be right back. I just realized that my air conditioner was running the entire time in the background so i apologize because that's probably a really annoying noise i'm sorry so we're gonna set our face now with the ciate london everyday vacay dewy mist it retails for 22 dollars Ooh, it has a really pretty fine mist and it smells a little too much like coconut. <laughs> oh yeah. Ugh. That's a little too coconutty. Like almost alcoholy, like a pina colada. Not like fun coconut. It was just a little bit too overwhelming. All right, so I feel like it set really nicely on the face and it dried quickly and there is a little bit of extra dewiness to the skin. I just really don't like the smell. The coconut is too overwhelming. So now the total of this box is, the total of this box is $147.95. That's the retail price and I paid I think it's 25 now a month, which is pretty great. That means that I saved myself $122 by being subscribed. 
It's a waxy shard. So, it's pretty good. I actually really like this box. I think the only two things that I'm like kind of iffy about are these. Um, I want to try this one out and see how it works on the skin a little bit longer. I'll probably use it for like a week or two and see if I like it. I don't like the tackiness, but I also feel like it made the foundation sit on the face really nice. Um, and this, I love that it did give the skin a nice like dewy finish, but I just don't like the smell. Personally, no me gusta, pero I like how it sat on the skin. This was, I think, my favorite. I really do like how it brightened and kind of just like lifted the face and all the like, what would have been like sunken parts. I really like. Um, but that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my first BoxyCharm unboxing. 